Okay, welcome out to our essential oil online class tonight. The topic is frankincense. Um, as you can see, frankincense has many, many, many uses. Um, it's one of the popular essential oils. In fact, it's one of the essential oils that people think of. Um, the first one I think of the essential oils, they know it from, you know, the, the scriptures. Um, so it's, it's a great essential oils, and we're going to talk about the many uses. Um, it's one of those essential oils that you can use when, when in doubt, when you don't know what to use, because um, it has so many possibilities, and we'll go into that tonight. Uh, I just want to introduce Jade, who um, puts these uh, presentations together for us, and uh, I'd like to welcome all of the people who have joined us online tonight. And those of you who are listening to this, app, um, you know, in the podcast, you're watching it on YouTube um, later on. Um, thank you for being there. If you do have any questions and we don't cover them in our class tonight, feel free to go on and we've got it up on the screen here at jadebalden.com slash frankincense and put your, your questions down there. Um, we check all of them and, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have regarding this essential oil or any of the topics that we have. We'll, we'll get um, notified of any questions you put on the site there. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Jake Baldwin, who's been doing this sort of thing since for six so years. Um, and she's studied up and helped many, many people um, learn about essential oils. And so, Jake? Yep. Well, welcome, everyone. Thank you, Ben. Um, we have Ben to thank for all this uh, tech um, abilities that we have here. Um, but first of all, before we start uh, getting into the frankincense, does anybody have any questions or um, stories they want to share about frankincense? Frankincense stories. We know there's lots of them. Frankincense is that amazing oil. Yeah, frankincense does so much. I just thought, if you guys have any stories you want to share, is anybody super new here that's only barely started using frankincense maybe in uh, you know less than a month? Anybody super new? Yeah. I got some new some newbies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're supposed to speak up, but I'm a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Well, this Kelsey. is a good one for you. Joining us right now. Hi, Stacy. All right. Um, anybody have any comments they want to share about frankincense? I'm sure you'll, they'll come up as, mm -hmm. as we get talking into it. Yep. All right. So let's just uh, do a, a quick summary. Frankincense is great for cellular health. It helps rejuvenate skin. So anything to do with the skin, it's great for that. It uh, helps with immunity. Um, it helps support the brain and memory. And it helps you with meditation prayer, anything spiritual and helps you focus, uh, gives you um, a spiritual outlook, so spiritual openness and uh, it balances the father energy. So that's what uh, frankincense is great for. We love frankincense, you know, because we, it's very difficult to get. If you look at the picture here, the frankincense is, if we can scroll up a little bit, honey, is, um, derived from these resins and they, what they do is they score these trees that um, are grown in like very arid environments and the trees uh, ooze out this milky white um, sappy like uh, juice and it dries on the trees and the families have to go out and scrape these resins off they're called frankincense yep, tears. And they, yep, and they're called frankincense tears, and these resins, um, they collect them and then they start sorting them out into different grades. The best thing for us is um, that doTERRA, they buy all of the frankincense, no matter what grade. And uh, so doTERRA owns the world supply of frankincense, and um, they resell the, the grades and the frankincense that they, they don't use. So we get the very best. And, um, you know, this is very special because we, you know, in the past, you have uh, scriptural references where uh, frankincense was only for the kings and um, the very rich people because they, they leave it in their 
um, the treasury and it's actually more expensive than gold sometimes. And here we have access to this frankincense oil in this modern day, so that's kind of special. All right, we have uh, Terry Jarman, welcome. So you guys, um, do you want to share your first experience with frankincense, the very first time you, you smelt frankincense or you used frankincense? Anybody? I'll share. Go ahead, Debbie. I absolutely love frankincense, and I, I love all the earthy smelling oils, but frankincense is probably one of my, I say that a lot, that a lot but one of my very favorites. Um, I use frankincense every day. I just got out of the shower and I just use it. I always put it on my face, around my eyes. I put it on my third eye. It really calms my brain and de-stresses my brain and really connects me with what's important in life. And so, but the rule of thumb with frankincense is when in doubt, use frankincense. And so we've used it for that purpose for many, many reasons. Anytime somebody's like, what do I use? What do I use? And I go, when in doubt, and they always come up with that frankincense. Mm -hmm. And so used for lots and lots of things. Thank you, Debbie. I'm right with you there. Um, yep, so we have there, when in doubt, use frankincense. The reason is that frankincense has so many chemical constituents. It's just a large array of chemical constituents that help with all sorts of things in our bodies. So if you think about frankincense, think of it as the king of essential oils, but also the jack of all trades. Okay, so frankincense makes everything work better. Uh, if you can add frankincense to uh, an oil, it makes that oil work better. So, um, and you find frankincense is in a lot of the yeah. blends as well, just as peppermint. Peppermint's in a lot of yeah. the blends because it's an oil that helps push right. the oil, other oils in. Frankincense has all the, you know, those extra wide array of um, mm -hmm. constituents as well as very small um, molecular, a lot of its constituents, very small molecular size, especially the sesquiterpenes. Mm -hmm. And Jade will get into this, I'm sure. <laughs> able to pass through the blood brain barrier and go to the cells. And that's you know, one of the reasons why it's so good at, yeah. at you know, addressing things on a cellular, cellular level. Yeah, it's, that's why we like it so much. Um, so at home, uh, we use the doTERRA Z Omega, which is like the Omega um, blend, Omega oil blend in supplement. our supplement. Um, so uh, frankincense is one of the oils in there, so we take it internally every day. Um, some people, they put it under their tongue, um, but we find that it's already in our supplement, so we're taking it internally that way. So I use the balance blend, and frankincense is one of the oils in the balance blend. Um, you know, I make sure that the kids get uh, frankincense in one way or form, um, you know, every single day. So even before they go to bed, you know, I'll put balance on them or frankincense and another oil just to, you know, as an overall, um, I think, ointment for them. Yeah. I, for I everything. Another uh, example of frankincense helping other oils to work well is, um, I remember Dr. Hill, um, when he came to Australia to, to speak at a convention, uh, he was talking about the different kinds of pain. Uh, sometimes we have pain that comes from tissue damage and pain that comes from nerve damage. And you know, we have the um, wonderful uh, past tense blend, um, which is really good for that um, nerve damage sort of pain and tissue damage. His secret recipe was deep blue and frankincense. Mm -hmm. and frankincense was kind of the driver, um, you know, just that a special blend there. And so, um, you know, there's our pains and headaches and everything can come from lots of different sources. And so, um, and this, uh, this is something that uh, Dr. Hill um, says, when in doubt, use frankincense. And, and that's, yeah, one of his recipes. So, Deep yeah. blue and frankincense. That's really good. Frankincense added to any, any blend at all. Um, so you can see here, one of the first books that I bought was this book called Frankincense um, by Dr. David Hill. And it was worth it because I really wanted to understand um, what frankincense can do 
and I really appreciate um, the power of frankincense. It almost is like liquid gold for me. And although some people think it, it's expensive, I think it's very valuable and it's worth um, how much we pay for it. And I, actually it's a good deal too because it's very valuable and we have access to this. I'd rather go without other things and without frankincense. So every year we stock up on frankincense. We have to have at least a couple of unopened bottles at home. So it was awesome. Yeah, so, this is um, frankincense usually comes on sale in December. Yeah. Um, or has been for the past several years. And, you know, where you can get a, several free frankincenses. And so that's a really good time to... Uh -huh take advantage of promotions like that mm -hmm. or use your points um, to get here, you know, stock up on frankincense and other, um, you know, precious oils. Mm -hmm. So frankincense really got me to understand the power of essential oils. Um, you know, I, I was only focused on the physical side of things. And when I studied up on frankincense, it opened my eyes to um, all the spiritual side. And I, it dawned on me that, of course, you know, if God were to make medicine, you know, it's not just going to do one thing. It's going to take care of us on many levels. And of course, it's going to smell great as well. So I thought, oh, this is amazing. And it just got me going and asking questions about other oils. And so um, frankincense started it all for me. So I have a very special um, connection with frankincense that way. Uh, one of the things that stood out about frankincense is that it helps with cellular function. As Ben said earlier, it has an ability to pass through the blood-brain barrier. So our body cells and our brain cells are different. Um, and our brain cells have a wonderful um, barrier to protect our brains from diseases, major diseases. If our body catches something, our brain is less likely to catch it because it has this, this added protection. But unfortunately, if our brain is unwell, not a lot of things can go through it to get into it to help it repair. Especially in mm -hmm. medicines and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. And so we have all these medicines for cognitive diseases like dementia, Alzheimer's and things that is, it's difficult to, um, it, to pass through the blood brain barrier blood brain barrier but um, fr frankincense and a few other oils have that ability and that's very important uh, because you know it goes right there through the cell membrane and then it helps uh, trigger self-destruct if the cells are very sick and it is um, it can't be repaired if it can be repaired it helps the cell repair um, and if the cells are healthy it leaves the cells alone if you think about it, the essential oils are alive and it actually is very intelligent. Uh, so um, it's the plant's immunity. So that's why I really like how, um, you know, this is an amazing intelligent um, form of uh, just liquid gold for our body. I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with um, the essential oil blend called DDR Prime. You can buy it in a 30 milliliter bottle or in pills. The DDR Prime also has frankincense in it. And it has, and DDR Prime is a cellular blend. Um, it's a blend that's um, used, um, you know, people who are, you know, have cellular difficulties, um, like people who have cancer, that's a, that's a cellular thing um, where cells are not dying, not, um, and they're, you know, Mutation. multiplying and everything. So that would be something that you, you could give your body to boost your body in that way and, and address things on a cellular, cellular level. There are lots of tongue ties today, blood brain barrier and cellular. Um, so, and frankincense as well as other uh, fantastic oils are included in that blend just for that purpose. And as Jade says here, the, the self-destruction, the apoptosis is a very important function. One of the three important functions that a cell does. So, yeah. Yeah. The DDR it, yeah, primers. that's right. That's something that we like to take um, nearly every day if we can remember to do that. Um, so there's that book, Frankincense, and uh, if you click on it, it'll take you to uh, a link where you can purchase that book too. So I thought that'll make it easier for everybody. Yeah, you can get that on mm -hmm. Amazon. That, that both those will take you there. Yeah, but if you think about it, um, you know, because it passes through the blood-brain barrier, 
you know, if you think about all of the cognitive difficulties and the health problems that we have and with, memory and you know with memory and brains and whatever the name we give it um you know frankincense can help that uh so for me i wanted all of my family my relatives everybody to be using frankincense all the time so um you know i'm very pleased that a lot of my family members are enjoying the frankincense um so after about two years of using the frankincense we found out that my mom had cancer and we um helped her um, you know her body repair with lots of things we did but one of those things is just to to use a whole heap of frankincense yeah. one <laughs> yeah. of the things we did to help her body deal with that mm -hmm. yeah so we'll open the floor up does anybody want to ask any questions or say anything or share a story anybody have experience of using frankincense um, to address things on a cellular or cognitive level I know we have a lot of new people tonight. I, I have an experience actually. Um, we used it with um, my brother before he, he, and he did pass away with cancer. But, um, you know, can, there's a lot of scientific research on frankincense and cellular regeneration and, and um, mutation. And so we can go a long ways with frankincense and it's well documented. And so that's one thing we did with, for, with Kirk. We actually, he had um, metastatic prostate cancer, stage four, and he lived about 14 months after his diagnosis. But we used a combination of frankincense and um, I can't remember all the oils we used, but that was one of them that we put in. We actually made suppositories, rectal suppositories, to get that as close to the um, prostate organ as we could. And um, he used a number of oils for his um, pain management, actually, and he was only on the IV medications the last few days of his life. And so frankincense was one of those that really curbed his discomfort and um, really blessed his life. And he said to me one time, he said, um, I don't care if I am dying, these oils work. Mm -hmm. And that is the, the plain truth. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie's introduced yeah. the uh, fourth way of applying essential oils. <laughs> 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 we don't talk much about that one. <laughs> so I'm glad that Debbie brought that up because we're going to talk about that in a minute, um, what to do for people who are towards the end of their lives. Mm. And uh, it brings them a lot of comfort. In fact, um, last year, um, I think at the beginning of the year, I met a, a beautiful lady from um, the Philippines and she had stage four cancer. The doctor said she had two months to live. So, um, you know, they just asked her to say her goodbyes and her family just couldn't buy that. And uh, so they, they brought her to Australia and um, they, I was uh, privileged to meet her and um, the next day after she got there, uh, and I introduced frankincense, the DDR Prime, the Lifelong Vitality Pack, and a lot of the things that we did um, just normally, just like the Aroma Touch Massage. And um, you know, within about two weeks, she was able to eat and um, gain weight again, and uh, she had less pain. Um, within two months, she felt like she was well, and her family just couldn't believe it. And she stayed there for another two months in Australia. And right before she left, I asked her, um, why did you think we met? You know, this is amazing what's happening to you. And she said, I, you, we met because I need to learn, learn these things to help my friends and family back home. So that's what she did. She went home and she, she did that. Um, but unfortunately, her family stopped sending her some oils. And, um, and a year later, she passed away. But, um, you know, I just saw the miracle happen. And uh, it was so beautiful to, to see this lady um, come alive again. So Can I give one more story yeah. about... Um using frankincense to address things on a, on a cellular level. Um, sometimes you might have like, um, I don't know, they're not really thought of as cancers, but like um, extra skin growths or moles or um, yeah. what do you call it's those? Just, Pol polyps or, yeah. Yeah. Polyps or um, tags, skin tags, yeah. um, those sorts of System. things. That's, that, that's basically the cells um, mutating or uh, failing to die or um, reproducing and, and not the right way. And so frankincense 
um, using its cellular function, support cellular, um, healthy cellular function. That would be a good one to uh, apply in there. And I think we have a story of a gentleman who had, you know, a skin tag and, and after putting it on for um, a few weeks, it fell off. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. So a lot of us, we get caught up on the name of the disease. If you get given a name, look it up, look at what the, um, the system uh, yeah, is connected to that problem. So lately I had a lot of women tell me they have um, problems with, with the uterus and there's this particular name and that particular name. And it's just, and I tell them, I turn it around and I say, guys, that's the cells mutating and duplicating wrong, right? And they're like, oh yeah, I guess so. And I say, well, what oils do we use to help support the cellular function? And they, they thought, oh yeah, of course, DDR Prime, frankincense. Okay, so we'll start there. Mm -hmm. You see, <laughs> sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Your body is the one that's doing the, the, mm -hmm. the magic and you're just helping um, yeah. that body function. Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't matter what the name is. Sometimes just go for what area it's taking, it's um, in and why do you think that problem is? Sometimes I think, oh, the cells are mutated and duplicating wrong. Well, then we'll give it this oil to, to duplicate it correctly or have self-destruct. To support the mm -hmm. healthy cellular function. Mm -hmm. That's right. And because it goes into the brain so well, it helps with our mood too because our brains produce these help healthy chemicals and hormones um, to help us be happy. Um, and if our brain is unable to produce those happy hormones, we are sad and depressed and everything in between. Uh, so frankincense added to your favorite oil will help with emotions. Um, so that's a good one. Um, anybody else have any stories or something to share about that? They've got moods, emotions, uh -huh. and feelings. I, I saw a um, kind of a continuum on that, you know, where, yeah. where we have moods and, and feelings are kind of a little bit stronger than that, or, you know, how our reactions to it and emotions are just, you know, a little bit you know, stronger um, feelings. Sometimes when we talk moods. about moods, um, often we do it like, um, you know, almost synonymous but it's just a, just a bit of a continuum and how strong it is mm -hmm. um there's that uh feelings buried alive she gives a good explanation feelings buried alive never die mm -hmm. book um it's, it's on the website here um she gives a good explanation of that continuum there yeah, thank you. Well, we're just gonna go to the skin now uh so anything unless anybody else has a story of using frankincense to address moods or feelings. Okay. Awesome. So skin, um, it is a beautifier, ladies. Um, so if you can add it to your um, uh, moisturizer or just any skincare product really. Uh, great for the, um, even the lotions, the body lotions. So it helps just repair tissues and um, it supports your body to uh, regrow tissues and um, it's just great. So the ancient Egyptians, um, they use it as a beautifier as well. And um, the resin, um, after it, uh, after they take the essential oils out, what is left is um, a dark uh, ash-like thing and they call it core and they use that as an eyeliner to help protect the eyes from the arid environment to um, you know, help it so that it doesn't get infected. And uh, so yeah. A, uh, Egyptian um, dark eyeliner. Yeah, yeah. So, makeup that's actually resin. Uh -huh. I had a friend that, yeah, that went to the Middle East and brought me back some. Yeah, but I don't know how to use it. It just makes me look like I've got panda eyes. <laughs> but, you know, they use it to protect their skin and it's a beautifier. So you guys can go ahead and put it in your moisturizer and your face creams. And there's also a scar blend, mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to, to take care of your scars and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, that yeah. would also be 
Yeah, that'll be really good. To add to that. Um, but you know, with DoTerra, the wonderful thing about them is they just make all these wonderful blends and ointments. So the Correct X is something that I ask people to use now instead of just making their own because they keep asking me what, how much, and what's the ratio. And I think you know what, it's already mixed up in the Correct X, so that's a, a good one to use. Good blends too. already made. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the body now. Um, guys, go ahead and um, make comments or ask questions if you have any, okay? Um, so let's go to the body. Like I said earlier, the frankincense it has amazing ability. So much research has, has been done on frankincense. So it's great for environmental threats. Uh, so add uh, frankincense to your immunity blends. Um, frankincense is great for the gut and of course if you take care of the gut, take care of the gut tissues, um, your immunity will improve. Okay, because mm. some people tell me they're sick all the time and I think, well, go ahead and get some frankincense inside your body somehow just to help it repair. Okay, so that's really good for immune system. Uh, it's great for just inflammation in general. So um, it supports your body's healthy inflammatory response. Uh, so again, like Ben said, deep, deep blue and uh, mix it with the uh, frankincense, okay? Or any part of your body that's, um, that's sore and achy and hurting. Okay, so anti-aging skincare. doTERRA has a wonderful blend called Immortel and it's soluble for other places in the world. Uh, it's the same oil and um, basically you can use that instead of frankincense because it have other oils with it. But if you want to make your own, there's the beautiful hand and body lotion in doTERRA that's unscented and you can add the frankincense to that and make your own lotions. I have friends that make um, lotions for their legs because they want circulation but they want the skin to be nice and so they put uh, the cypress oils in and then um, frankincense so that, that goes well together great for dryness, um, any sort of pigmentation even, and um, scarring. So you can add um, geranium, lavender, rose, sandalwood, and myrrh, any of those oils to your frankincense blend. They blend really well together. They're good friends. All right. Like for wrinkles and stuff. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the longer, the more you use frankincense, the younger you look. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> can tell you look like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So we talked about the correct X already. Um, anointing newborns. This is something I'm very excited about. Uh, I tell everybody that's pregnant that wants to use essential oils to remember to do this. And so many people have come back and said they did this and it was awesome. So you can put frankincense just directly on the baby's crown uh, right after the birth. Um, just to help the, the brain recover from that traumatic experience, uh, squeezing through that uh, canal, right? And um, just helps protect the baby from environmental threats. And if you have myrrh on hand, which you should, um, myrrh goes really well onto the baby's um, umbilical cord stump. That's a great oil to help the baby um, be protected from environmental threats and um, make sure the baby's okay and, and well. Okay, um, spiritually, it helps uh, connect the baby back to God, Heavenly Father, and the myrrh helps connect the baby back to Mother and Mother Earth the, and Earthly Mother. So that's a beautiful way of doing that. If you want to take it a step further, um, balance oil on the baby's the bottom of the baby's foot just to help the baby be present. Okay, so that's awesome. Anyone else want to share? Yeah, or make a comment. Stories of um, newborns or skins. It's really beautiful in birth, actually, um, to connect baby with, with God again and to connect them with, whenever a baby is separated from its mother, I always use the oil for mother-baby separation anxiety, and it really is fantastic. And so it heals that separation anxiety that, that babies have and mothers have when babies are separated, if ever. Um, babies need resuscitation. It's always, always, always best to have that baby right on the mother for that resuscitation. And so keep them together and there's no separation anxiety. But myrrh is a fantastic oil and can be used 
when the child is much older, um, if we're having relationship issues because the mother was unaware of that separation, um, the, the, um, the long-term ramifications of that separation at birth. And so it's a phenomenal oil for that purpose. Well, that's awesome to know. Thank you, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, the balance is, is magnificent. I typically put it on their feet and their spine. And they just kind of go, ah, oh, when you do that, they just kind of relax and welcome. And it's, it's like, welcome, welcome. Um, you're here and we're so glad. So, Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that so many times. And I think the parents have a more spiritual experience too. Yeah. Maybe just looks around and says, hello world, what's mm -hmm. happening? <laughs> Yeah. And this addresses a concern that I think maybe some people who are listening or who are new to essential oils might have, you know, using essential oils with, um, with newborns, with infants. Um, I just want to stress that doTERRA essential oils are unique. Um, I would say mm -hmm. 90, 95, 99 percent of essential oils out there um, would not use on a newborn baby. Um, a lot of them are actually synthetically produced, mm -hmm. um, but you can rest assured that, you know, like an oil like um, frankincense or myrrh um, by doTERRA is safe enough to use on newborns right when they come out of their womb, and that's pretty fantastic. So. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's even a book um, that you can get, um, I think it's on the website as well here, um, where um, birth, pregnancy, and babies, um, in, and essential oils on um, what essential oils to use and you know in the birthing process and pregnancy process and everything like that Ben's learning really well <laughs> it's been around all of us women talking about birth and things now, does anybody else um, have any questions or I do <laughs> please Okay, so we're talking about babies and pregnancy and everything, and we're talking about how to use it on your skin. So is there a blend that you use with frankincense that is for like um, the prevention of stretch marks and like the itching of the stomach? Because we're pregnant right now, and Congratulations. that's what I'm going through. <laughs> well, um, I my experience is... Um, you know, my sister used uh, the hydrating cream um, and uh, that has frankincense in it too. But I think she might have used the frankincense a little bit more on her skin. And with coconut oil, there's not really um, like a set blend, but you can tell, you can actually just put a couple of drops of each and then rub it on, um, you know, morning and night. But that's what she does with the hydrating cream and then she has the frankincense oil. That. Okay. It's amazing because she's got stretch marks from growing up. You know, from when you're a teenager, you have growing stretch marks. But when she was pregnant. There was nothing, no stretch marks at all. And I, I was just so amazed <laughs> how well that worked. This might be a book. I don't know if you can you see the screen there. Yeah. Um, it's called Essential Oils for Pregnancy, Birth, and Babies by Stephanie Fritz. You can get that on Amazon. Um, okay. That has a lot of questions, you know, a lot of, um, they call yeah. it recipes and stuff yes, that you can lots do. Of good um, recipes. And that idea with a uh, few frankincense and myrrh and, and used in, in pregnancy yeah. is something that comes from that book as well. So, um, the... So you might be interested in something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fabulous resource. Yeah, I love it. I've read it several times and we've used it, followed it to the T. It's awesome. One other thing I want to say is the Immortel blend is magnificent. Stretch marks is magnificent also as a perineal spray after birth. Yes. Um, for, there are a number of midwives across the country that are no longer stitching. And um, if we apply some frankincense to the perineum instead of the stitches, those tissues find themselves together very nicely and heal even better. And so I've worked with Ginny West in Albuquerque, and she probably has not stitched now in probably close to 30 years. When I met her, she hadn't stitched in 23, and I've known her for at least since 2007. Um, so what's that, another 10 years? So probably 30 or more years, Ginny West has not stitched her, her clients, unless they request it. Um, and she's had some, a few 
with tears that really would have been medically managed and they heal beautifully with frankincense alone or the Immortel blend. And I typically add, if we're using the frankincense, we typically add the helichrysum along with it um, and possibly some lavender and melaleuca and some fractionated coconut oil. But frankincense is a must have. And I would venture to say that helichrysum just makes it easy or not helichrysum. Yeah, helichrysum is magnificent too, but Immortel makes it easy because it's got both of those in it. Um, for for the specific reasons we use here, Chris, I still say have a bottle here the Chris on hand at birth, but, yeah. now, but for the next marks for the perineum. You use that as a spritz. Yeah, for the for the perineum, we use it as a spritz. So um, you're adding a few drops to some water. In so a actually, the coconut, coconut oil. Coconut you know, coconut. you know, yeah. you've got your 15 ml bottle. That you've used up you can just fill it up i i did a third of it and then the breast is the fractionated coconut oil i just want to be generous and yeah. um, and then you spritz it even before the birth just to help yes. you know, even before the birth. so yeah. there's a little spray tip yeah. that you'll spray have tip. to and buy to yeah. put on your 15 you can just buy those spray tips online very I just easy want to fill in the gaps for yes. people, who are, people who are listening to you yeah yeah, yeah very good and so that, that's how you great for emotions spritz. Um, great for the anxiety of birth and pregnancy, you know, use it throughout. Yeah, I love to use frankincense and balance when mother's nearing the completion of the thinning and opening of the cervix. She, it just really calms her down and puts her back to, back to ground zero. When yeah. mom's nearing the thinning and opening phase in birth, this is our tangent, I guess. Um, we typically see an adrenaline rush and that frankincense calms that all down. And so it's a fantastic yeah it's beautiful it makes the whole experience so much better yeah so i've been present with my sisters um two pregnancies no stitching beautiful it just she was calm and relaxed and um i mean of course it was painful still but uh awesome no it's nothing like mine <laughs> and you're present with your pregnancy i was i was there yeah that was before reality <laughs> <such oils. laughs> yes it was awesome any other questions or, or you know, comments at this point before we go on? All righty. One thing. Now, I Laura, if you do have any other questions. Um, it's not Laura, it's Chelsea. Oh, huh? sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, feel free to reach out. I'm yeah. happy to help and point you in the right direction. So, yeah, and you've got a great coach there with Debbie. Um, the next thing I is. I support a partner, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Brain support. Uh, I want you to make that connection with frankincense and brains. So anything to do with the brains. I tell you, um, it's been a lifesaver for a lot of my friends. And a story um, is when I think it was the second year that I was uh, sharing the oils with people, one lady came up and she's only 16. And uh, she said she's had seizures for the last 10 years. And um, sometimes, you know, she had several seizures in a month. And um, so I just said to her, like, you know, get the supplements and, of course, use frankincense every day. Um, and basically, it helps clear out the way in your brain so that the brain um, electricals can just communicate properly um, and there's just no traffic jam. And so she did that and she came back to me, I think a few months later, and she said, look, I haven't had a seizure for many, many months since I started using the frankincense. So that's amazing. Um, so if you have friends that um, have that concern and anything to do with the brains, you know, you can name the disease, but I don't uh, want to necessarily talk about each one, but it's just um, great for brains. Okay. And if you want to add frankincense, uh, Add peppermint to the frankincense and you can rub it on the forehead, the back of the neck and just inhale deeply. Yeah, the peppermint, remember, it drives the frankincense in. It says frankincense, go in deeper and do your job better. Uh, so that's why we use peppermint. Okay, so that's a great way to use frankincense. So if you think about all those people that, um, you, that have sluggish minds and things that you want to help, that's a great um, blend to, to share with them. Alrighty, and we talked about cellular health already with frankincense and DDR Prime. Mm -hmm. uh, DDR Prime comes in soft gel, so you can uh, take those daily. All right, but uh, the liquid form is great because you can actually dilute and rub it um, in the area that you are concerned with. 
or just to concentrate that oil in that area. So only only oil that comes in a 30 ml bottle. Um, yeah. Apply generously. <laughs> so our kids go swimming and um, you know they're soaking in that chlorine and we give them the frank uh, the DDR prime because the frankincense is in there and a few other oils just to help them because they they've been swimming in um, you know chemicals and uh, yeah we don't want anything to be damaged in there. You know, a lot of the cancer cells, it takes years and years and years for it to duplicate enough to be detected. And we don't want anything to start. So this is a wonderful way for us to just keep the body healthy and keep, um, your cells keep everything in check. Online. Yep. So our family loves, loves that frankincense oil. Alrighty. So I would just keep moving forward if um, we don't have anyone uh, with comments or questions? Yeah, we still have a lot to cover. Yeah, so. okay, so the winter chest rub. Um, I know that Aussies, you're coming into winter time, uh, so this would be a great blend for you guys. Um, and for other people that uh, just tend to have a lot of buildup in their chest um, and they just need to shift the mucus out. Okay, so that's five drops of frankincense, one drop of thyme. One drop of oregano and this is a hot oil okay um, so one drop of ginger ginger is hot too two drops of eucalyptus two drops of cypress one drop of white fur so mix this together with the fractionated coconut oil um, and you can mix it together in um, say an empty bottle an empty 15 ml glass bottle and check it up and then just rub it on your chest but you want to rub it and just um, ha have a upward motion on your sternum just to help things come out and get out. Um, yeah, so you want to move the phlegm and the, the mucus out. Okay, so that would be great for people that have that concern. Okay, then that's the winter chest rub. Okay, any questions, comments? All good? Okay, I'm just gonna move forward. Okay, so let's go to the mind. I enjoy this part of um, teaching people because I think that if you take care of the spirit and the mind, the physical body will, will heal faster and um, you don't have to keep struggling with um, symptom management. And that's the idea. I think I want to teach people how to be self-reliant and be able to feel that um, power to take good care of their own health that they are able and capable of taking care of their own health. So in the past, the frankincense has been used for the spiritual rituals and ordinances um, for religious uh, um, ceremonies. Uh, so it's the oil of truth. And this is exactly what it does. It helps you see the truth. It helps you focus on the truth and um, clear away this, the dark scales of the eyes so that you can actually have um, more ability to discern um, can you see how it's connected to the brains, how the brain's thinking clearly now and it can make good choices. So, you know, we want to give it to our kids, right? <laughs> we want to make them um, see clearly and have um, a better ability to, to choose um, the right. Okay. Uh, so there's a blend here uh, for positive, clear thoughts. So if it's, you have three drops of frankincense and three drops of wild orange and you can mix it together, warm up your palms and then just cup it over your nose and just inhale. And that's a really good blend to help you feel more positive and um, help you see the good in things. Okay, so that's a, a positive, clear thought um, blend. Okay, and when you do this, relax the chest and the heart and allow yourself to be more positive. And sometimes, yeah, I feel like um, some days it's hard and you want to be positive, but it's hard to be positive. Uh, so you just need a little bit of help. And this is one way to, for you to do this. You know that you're being negative. You know that you're whining about things and you think, I really can't just switch off this. So go ahead and get your frankincense and your wild orange and inhale, relax your chest, relax your heart. And then things will you know, clear up for you and then you can actually feel that positivity. Okay, so that's a really good one. And wild orange is the oil of abundance. Okay. Yep. And it's happy oil mm -hmm. as well. You've got lots of time, lots of help, lots of everything. Okay. Anyone want to 
um, make a comment or say anything? Or questions. Yeah. That's a good one to mm -hmm. use. Yep. Okay. Um, you can actually diffuse that one at home if you have grumpy heads um, <laughs> and you want to fix that uh, mood. Yeah, these are two wonderful oils to diffuse. Okay. Alrighty, so the next one is what Debbie Gordon was saying. Um, you know, sometimes you feel helpless and um, you don't know what to do for a family and uh, friends that are nearing the end of their lives and here's something we actually can do for them and it makes it a significant difference for them um, so that this time in their life can still be comfortable. Uh, so frankincense, you can use it uh, as a massage, an all over massage, because they might have a lot of anxiety or just yeah, um, discomfort and uh, you can use it in the diffuser. So go ahead and use the frankincense mixed with whatever oils you like that you're inspired to use. And, um, and just use that for the, those people that are nearing the end of their lives. Um, I know that we use that for my grandpa and um, you know, we have a large clan in Australia and you know, the family, they, they were very good at rubbing that oil on him and taking good care of it. And it feels like the family was, um, I think it, it took care of them and it, it bonded them and um, everyone was able to manage that uh, um, experience in a, in a very calm and um, you know, rest, uh, peaceful way. So that was really good. I'm really grateful for that. <clears throat> Any questions or comments, guys? Okay. I just want to say the sense of smell is one of the first, well, it's the very first one we have when a newborn is born. It's also the very last one to go. So anytime we use aromatherapy to send them off as they leave this earth existence is a wonderful send off and kind of grounds the rest of us as well. Yeah, that's right. It takes that's care of everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Love that. Learn something new all the time. Um, but I, like I said, I just feel like, you know, sometimes you don't know what to do for people in that situation. Um, but this is something that is very significant and, uh, you know, you can do that. So I've had a few friends that have lost their, their family members and I introduced them to the, the frankincense and um, even the, the family members that are grieving, it helps them let go and uh, helps their family grieve, um, you know, effectively. <clears throat> There's also the console blend. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's we have really that now. Good for grieving as well. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. And it has frankincense in it. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course, of course. So the next thing I want to talk about is mending relationships with dad. So there are people that don't like frankincense smell. Okay. And <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked all the and, time. And Debbie really? mentioned earlier myrrh, using <laughs> myrrh to, you know, as a relationship with your mother. Uh -huh. This is the father. Yeah. Um, I have friends that uh, are foster parents and um, one friend actually wanted to start a um, adop adoption agency that uh, uh, will help support um, adoptive parents and children because you can use frankincense and myrrh to help these children, um, you know, and these parents bond. So that's really good um, in that way. But for those people who struggle with frankincense and you don't like the smell, or if they put that oil on their skin and their skin starts to have a rash of some sort, um, you know, just go back and uh, uh, work on your relationship with your father. I'm not saying, you know, make your father say sorry or anything, but you make peace. <laughs> you make peace in your heart um, and uh, it'll help you change the way you, your health is too. Do you want to say anything, Debbie? Uh, that's good. That's <laughs> really great. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's just, you just have to use it. It's just so magnificent in its benefits spiritually, mentally, emotionally, that um, I go to frankincense all the time. Yeah. So I have a gentleman, very close family friend, and he, he uses the oils just fine. 
um, on his skin internally just fine. But frankincense is the only oil that um, he can't stand. And if he puts it anywhere on his skin, he gets a rash. And I, I tell him that uh, he, he needs to sort out his relationship with his father. And <laughs> he laughed because that was exactly how he felt. Um, he felt like his father abandoned him or wasn't a good dad, um, you know, his parents divorced, all those things that we hear a lot about. Uh, you know, if we don't resolve this, it just causes a lot of problems, not just for us, but for our children too. So um, that should be a good indicator for you to, um, to, you know, take that time now to resolve that, okay? So that uh, oil should smell nicer and that will be an indicator that you've, um, you've resolved and uh, you're well on your way to healing. Does anybody else have any other questions or comments on that use of frankincense? Okay, cool. So if your body's asking for frankincense too, um, you go ahead and use that because it could be just helping with the father energy in that way. Um, Cause you know, father means a lot of things. There's a lot of the, uh, reasons, uh, um, a lot of things that father represents. So, you know, it's just, it goes a little bit beyond your, your, your earthly father. Alrighty. I don't know why I'm thinking of the example of Luke Skywalker when you discovered that. Oh, uh, no. Luke father. could have done with the frankincense, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I derailed the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking if I meet another Luke, I'll help him with frankincense. Whip yeah. it out. <laughs> I, he, he made things right in the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is a wonderful blend, I know made it. Um, so this is the Joyful Heart Blend. Okay, so it's um, frankincense, ylang ylang, it's clary sage, wild orange, white fur, geranium, and lavender, a whole bunch. You mix it up and then you put it in a glass bottle um, and then you can add it to your diffuser um, or just in your palms to smell. It's got a very sweet, sweet smell, sort of like candy. All right, we'll pass this around. <laughs> and this is the Joyful Heart. Okay. It does smell like candy. And I'll, I'll tell you something. I've met just a few people um, and it feels like their heart has been so used to being heavy that they're almost addicted to feeling that way. And it's just too much effort to raise that heart and lift that heart up. Uh, and so I feel like this is a wonderful blend for those people that you know. Um, you know, if they smell of like peppermint, they don't like peppermint. <laughs> you know, because it kind of forces them to be happy. And no, I don't like it. This doesn't feel good. They're just so used to being that victim or whatever it is, just um, weighed down. And I, I understand, I understand if you've been like that all your life and if your family's had ha uh, have had lots of troubles and things, you don't even know what uh, it looks like and feels like to, to be happy and perky. Um, and so here's an oil blend that can uh, give you a little bit of a boost. Okay, and that's the Joyful Heart Blend. And I got very excited about making this blend because I thought, um, yeah, I've got a few people that I can help with this. <laughs> Okay. And it smells like candy. It does. It smells like candy. If you smell it too much, you'll get a cavity. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions or comments before we move on to the spiritual side? Okay. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll just move on. Um, so the spiritual side of frankincense, of course, is connected to God the Father. Yep. And uh, for those who are disconnected uh, to God, feeling like he's not there, he's not helped me at all, um, and, uh, you know, just feel like you're alone, uh, the frankincense will help you actually clear up your spirit and see um, spiritual blessings. Uh, I know a lot of people that tell me, uh, you know, God's done nothing for them. They're not blessed. Uh, you know, there's no more blessings or there's no more miracles. And... Uh, I just tell them it's not because it's not there, it's because you can't see it. So go ahead and use frankincense so that you can actually see those blessings. So it's sort of like the sun, um, the sun shines on all of us and it's blessing all of us, but um, sometimes people choose not to go out in the sun and choose not to see 
all the things that the sun has been able to um, help us with. Okay, so that uh, is actually giving you an ability for spiritual light and truth. And like Debbie Gordon said, you know, put on your third eye, you know, lift up that third eye so that you are open to downloads. And if you are looking for this, I promise that you will see it. So get a notebook ready um, because you'll be able to jot down a lot of things that uh, I would call tender mercies of God um, in your life. You'll see those as you um, keep looking for them. And the frankincense will help you see that. So it's a good idea to diffuse frankincense mm -hmm. um, before prayer, or, um, devotion, meditation. meditation. Um, another one that also goes hand in hand with this for those purposes is sandalwood. Yes. Sandalwood yep. is also an essential oil that, um, you know, enhances yes. meditation or prayer, devotion, um, scripture, study, um, any sort of in introspection. Um, yeah. Maybe if you're trying to, you know, like think of your life's purpose or trying to discover your mission or, or, set goals or something like that that's a good one yep all right guys that's all for frankincense today does anyone have any questions or comments they'd like to make so we have um our top 10 uses here in a handout so you can go ahead and print that out if you like that's a pdf you can share it with your friends download it's got the top 10 ones mm -hmm. without the numbers yeah oh. Missing some numbers. Yeah, we're missing some numbers. We'll fix that. Yep. And um, yeah, that's it. So that's at jbalden.com, frankincense. If you have any other questions, um, feel free to post your questions down here in the comment section and we'll go and um, give answers. And those answers will be there for everybody else to benefit from as well. So, mm -hmm. so we really appreciate your comments and um, stories. Does anybody have anything else they want to add? Uh, question or well we can um, turn questions? off the recordings and then we'll ask those questions <laughs> makes people more comfortable <laughs> okay all right i think so well thank you everybody for attending we um those of you that are here stay tuned stay on the call um for our next um class which is um hormones okay yes yeah, yeah. so i'm going to stop the recording at this point so we're no longer recording. So if anybody has a question,